for your bow work, you will write what are some ways that spatial reorganization can be seen as a result of migration. So when you see people migrating, how does it cause a city or a region or a state or a country um, to experience spatial reorganization? Take a moment and pause the video in order to respond to that on your bow work. For your objective, today we will react to a claim by using our sources to support or challenge it so we can write our own thesis. We'll know we have it when we can use the thesis generator to write a thesis. For the objective, guys, on your bell work, just a reminder, you should be putting it in your own words. So what are we doing today, right? So if your mom or dad or whatever walked in and was like, oh, what are you doing in Mrs. Wolf's class? What would you say? Simple. All right, so we're gonna go over how to write a thesis. All right, again, if you are unclear on what a thesis is, it's a statement or a theory that you're putting forward. So like a claim you're making that if you were writing an essay, you would use the essay to maintain or prove that thesis. All right, so this time we're going to review the process for writing a claim using our worksheet. A lot of you are still not doing the worksheet correctly, so I'm going to go step by step through um, the parts that you guys are making a lot of mistakes on so that you can hopefully improve your scores. <clears throat> All right, if you look at your worksheet and you go to the bottom of the first page where it says step two, it asks you to use examples from the sources meaning the sources that we've reviewed in this unit, I want you to put some of them here and I want you to give examples from them. So you're not just simply writing source 12 and source nine. What from source 12 supports the claim? How, tell me how it supports the claim or what from whichever sources you're choosing. You have to say like, okay, source four because it shows blah, blah, blah. That's why I put, you should have several examples, examples, source 12 states, and I give a blank spot. You cannot just write the source, okay? For step three, it's the same concept, only you're giving me sources and examples from the sources that challenge the claim or that do not support the claim, something that would be used to argue against the claim, right? And again, you cannot simply say source six and source four. You need to tell me a source and give me an example. You can literally use a quote from the source or you can just explain how it challenges the initial claim, which our claim is, is spatial reorganization usually a result of migration? For this one, so, like I just said, what is your topic? Is spatial organization usually a result of migration? For number two, you are going to tell me, yes, spatial organization is usually a result of migration, or no, spatial organization is not usually a result of migration, or sometimes spatial reorganization is a result of migration, but other times it's blah, blah, blah. Number three is asking, what is your rationale? So this means, why did you choose the stance you took in number two? So if you chose that, yes, it is, why? What's your reasoning? Number four, again, this one, a lot of you are struggling with. You have to acknowledge that there will be an argument against what you, whichever side you choose, right? Because there's two sides, yes or no, or a little bit, right? So what concessions will you make to qualify your stance and acknowledge opposition means? If you chose that spatial organization is a result of migration, what would someone say arguing against you, saying it's not usually a result of migration? You don't have to argue it back. You just have to acknowledge that there is a counterclaim against you. When you put one, two, three, and four together, as number five is saying, it will give you your thesis. So yes, on your worksheet, you need to have an answer for one, two, three, and four. Number five will be your thesis, which is step four on the bottom of your worksheet. Okay, going forward is just the sources in this unit. You'll see that two sources are missing because we did not cover them in class, so there's a gap. I think it's 
7 and 8 maybe you'll see but I am just going to click through the rest of the PowerPoint so that you have the sources in this video so you don't have to open up a whole nother PowerPoint I'm trying to make this easier on you guys so you can give me feedback if you like it this way or if you like having it in a PowerPoint but I'm just gonna like give five seconds on each one so that you can pause your video and like fast forward or rewind to whichever sources you're looking at okay <laughs> 